Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'll be continuing my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. In the last episode we managed to finish this... What is it called? The Endless Research Park and Endless World. This upgrade will would allow us to increase our science and dust production on high... Uh, in, not influence, but happiness ratings. Right now we are devoted, so this boosts our dust and science income quite nicely. It should be something around 50% boost. So that's here, and here we are gonna send our fleet towards Izar. But first, I'm gonna wait till this ship arrives here and I'm gonna eliminate it so it doesn't annoy us here and our backside and then I'm gonna clear this place out I'm also slowly sending my caravels towards these quest objectives here these are curiosities on unique planets if I manage to deal with those I'll get access to another hero and then something that I'd love to have so that's that so, let's slowly continue on. We are also pursuing a relationship with the Harmony on Pollux. Still, we need a bit of time for that to grow. Okay, at least four turns. And then we'll have the full relationship and we could potentially Annex them, or we could assist them. Either way, this will help us a lot, especially with the research. And later on, when I feel when the time is right, I can simply simulate them for reduced upkeep costs, which in turn, which will turn into bigger dust incomes. Okay. Let's continue and turn. Okay, Soiden has been successfully hacked. Let's grab some resources from them. Okay, I got a bit of adamant. And not sure what this is. Oh, that's bad. They are starting to annoy me. Lost two civilian ships to these pirates. Could really get rid of them. Got these here. Could go for a turtle strategy. Hmm. We've got a black hole here so we can get some extra experience. However, the projectile weapons won't work too well here. Could go for plasma distortion potentially, but yeah, I suppose that might help. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. So let's fight. There we go. Now here, I'm gonna send this gouge out in hopes that I might get rid of a pesky pirate ship. Power to shields might prove good here. Or rather plasma distortion okay let's do it like this that's a decisive victory our ship is somewhat banged up but Okay, now 
here. Got another remnant population. Let's take a look at our population slots here. How do we look? Next turn we'll be able to colonize the Arctic world, so this way we'll be able to expand on that planet with that system with those cold worlds there. Here on the other hand, let's build the interplanetary transport network for that extra bit of industry. The Oregon Federacy seeks only knowledge and a true place to call home. Okay, looks like we found the uh, Volters somewhere around here. Okay, so now there's another player. Welcome, welcome. The Empire always has time for its friends. <laughs> well, we could again try to go for peace with them. Okay. I'm not too interested in those blue caps. How about super spot? Also not too interested. Hmm. Hey Dreamil. Now this could work out. Let's reduce this a bit. Yeah. Okay, could try that. This so way we would get access to a potential trade partner. So let's make this offer. Your acceptance pleases the Empire. So we are at peace with them. Which is fine. Okay. Let's end turn. Got a hacking operation left to be assigned, so let's try to grab something from Izar. Okay, so let's continue on. Okay, so now I got the Graviton research. Go for the other planet colonization as well. Hmm. Some extra research. Or we could go for some influence, and that's also something. Also, we have some bar barren worlds, if I'm not mistaken, as well as toxic. So we could as well grab these. Plus we could really use this, the prayer, if we want to get those ecologists into a f into the Senate, at least for a while. So I'm gonna grab these two. After that, the Xenology and the Xenoanthropology as well. These will take 12 turns, and when they'll be done, I'll be able to get some more influence and also influence much more the. The election actions. Okay. 
So now here. If we go for maximize exploitation, we could get the public 3D printing, potentially. In chameleon spaces, we could get some extra resource generation on the planet and the core cracker factory. Neural robotics, on the other hand, would give us a industry specialization. However, impact size would allow us to get some some extra dust, but especially access to heroes. So I'm gonna grab this. Okay. That's good enough. So let's continue. We got another level up on our hero. So now let's see. Got these. Could get some more research. Or we could go for the dust. I believe I'm gonna grab the dust now. Okay. No sunshine has come to an end. Now we can start colonizing this world. Also, don't have anywhere a industry specific spot. So it will be quite difficult to build up here. Anyway, we're gonna think about that later. Let's end the turn. Let's see, got adaptive bureaucracies. So now we can colonize the barren worlds as well. We can also build the Dunard University. Hmm. Acceptable planets are of ocean, toxin, atoll types. Hmm. As the Lumerian population of your empire increases, so does the demand for goods from Genus, the Lumerian home planet. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, so we need to get some of these. Well, we've got at least one toxic planet which we can grab as soon as we get the hyper packs. However, we're gonna need some... Either... Either we're gonna need to... Terraform a planet or we're gonna need to grab some new systems because I believe none of those new ones have access to any of the know of those types. Anyway, considering the amount of population slots, we can go for some food upgrades here. So let's see. Let's grab the epigenetic crop seed again, after that the intense cultivation logistics. This will also boost our ecologist political impact. And after we are done with those, I'm gonna grab the Denard University. Okay. Well, let's see. Octans has a construction queue free. It also has quite a lot of industry, we could potentially build some ships here. So we could grab the data shipyards and after that let's grab the Xenodurans ag agencies. Okay, we are slowly building up here. Let's send one of these again here. Okay. Now 
Let's take a look once more. We have one. It's a nice science income, potentially. Much better than the, than the third. I believe I could switch those out. This way these plants will become a, little, a bit more specialized. Now this caravel. I wanted to send it over there. Let's send a probe. So that way we will have vision and we will be able to send it over there. In the meantime I'm gonna send the caravel to Yetix. This will shorten the route, I hope, a bit. And it will take less time to get over there once it's found. At least that's my hope for it. Okay. Phoenix still needs something to do. And let's see. The ember warp oil in the sterile worlds. So we could send them over here. It hits me quite heavily in the happiness, so I want that to go down. We could also grab the stims at the upgrade. There's also a bunch of light forms here, which we could check out once we get a increased curiosity expedition power, which might potentially have some Anomalies, potentially some resource deposits. Also, considering the fact that we've got an anomaly here, could grab the magnetic field generators. And we also could use the food. And there is a luxury deposit which will boost that as well. So let's grab this first. And after that, this. Also, Phoenix One has a nice science income, so I'm gonna specialize it in the exoscience stations. And let's continue. Okay, let's move. Oh, let us send this fleet that way. Totally forgot to get the mortars. Okay. We're slowly building up over here. We can colonize this gas giant as well. Okay. Next turn. Boiler room. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. We could approve this and get a skyrocket boost on our income. However, we are risking a economic crisis. Or we could deny it and get some extra happiness and a little bit of a dust boost. Hmm. I believe I'm gonna take a risk and see what happens S simply out of curiosity. So, let's do this. Okay, we got another level up here. Let's get some more influence. Okay, how does this look? Well, the ecologists look a bit better now. However, they could still use some a, a bit more of a boost. Okay, 
Anyway, let's continue. Gender has been colonized. Tell us what you plan. Another pirate mark. And we found Auriga. So there we've got that planet. Nice tomb. Let's go if over there. In the least trustworthy, our discussions might have been different. And they are going with the bureaucratic and royal gaffer. Well, I need to do we something about this because I don't like it. Will. You cannot. Could go for a bureaucratic embroil on my side if I had the influence for it. However, I need to stockpile it for the incoming elections in three turns so that I can boost my the ecologist faction a bit more. Get them into the Senate. Now, Octans. And the only thing left here is the Graviton Shield Laboratories. Should get one of those Ember population units here. Let's take a look. Grab one of these and let's send them to Octans. Now, gender. As always, let's start with the basics drone networks and the cerebral reality. And after that, we're gonna go and grab the Xenia Industrial Infrastructure as well as the Sustainable Farms Oh and let's get the system modernization done first because that takes one turn and it doesn't take up any industry Okay, that's more than enough for now Could send some population that way as well Well, I'm gonna do that next turn Okay, let's continue. Let's build this here. Okay, I got the hyper packs, so now you can colonize the toxic planets. Okay. Since that, I'm gonna start colonizing this one. There are some ruins here that we might check out and see what they provide. Okay, this has ended, so happiness is back to normal. Now let's put these Harashims to work on the toxic planet. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Selling off dark glitter. Rather buying off. The price is pretty low. This was for the super spot. Hmm. meal is quite expensive. Well, we could potentially buy buy some of these since they are so cheap. Hmm. Or we could go for the dark glitter, but super spots, I believe, will be more beneficial for us in the long run. So let's buy all of those. Price has gone up quite nicely. Well, 
see what will happen next. Okay, let's continue. Dinology is completed, so now we can get the spin project. Hostel trace here. Use the accelerator here. Okay, we didn't manage to achieve the pioneer of the void, so that's not not a huge deal for me. Janus, I'm st I started to colonize the toxic world here. Will still take a bit time before this is done. After we're done with this, I believe I could grab the Academy Embassy. So let's grab that. And we are at Izar. Let's start assaulting them. Let's go with Gorilla as before. It's more of a draw. I'm gonna retreat for a while, for a few turns. This way we'll somewhat Wither them down a bit and then I'm gonna attack again. Okay, let's blockade the system. Let's see. Population gained. Okay, could upgrade the Harshims again, let's boost them. I got 18 Lumeris population type, 18 Lumeris, we've got 8 Remnants, which is nice, 7 Harshims, 6 Gnazast, and 3 Ambler. Okay, now we could go for a spin project on either of these worlds. I'm thinking about Phoenix 3. This way I'll get some extra influence in and also the influence bubble will grow faster. Thus I'll be able to get some additional of these black holes into my sphere of influence. Okay, then turn, let's continue it further. Okay, now we're growing quite nicely. You enjoy proposals made with a blade at your throat. Forget it. Phoenix got compromised. Okay, got a competitive quest. Belt Gamma Analysis Platforms. Okay, we could try that. Let's take a look. Takes three turns here. It quite nicely boosts the science income. Gonna pursue that. But first this. Okay, let's see. 335, I, 
my manpower here to say something. Gonna wait a few more turns, let's wait her down to 300 and then I'm gonna attack. Okay, Octans is full, so I need to colonize this toxic world. And after that I'm gonna focus on this Gamma Analysis Platform. Okay. So we're here at Zubin. So now we can check these worlds. Goriga. Science load here and get one quest curiosity checked. So now let's move south and let's see that other one. So I can't send a probe somewhere. I'm gonna send those out. Let's see what's further th there. Now this fleet, now they're gonna wait here for a few turns. And I suppose this will be enough for today. So thank you guys for watching, hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around!